Hi everyone, Officer UFO1 here, and we are on the LS. I'm sorry, we are on the LCPDFR uh, website. As I do another LSPDFR uh, tutorial, and we're taking a look at uh, the new, newly uh, released Sheriff Deputy 1.0.4, created by Trooper Charles, and it, this is great. And here's why: uh, it includes new uh, female sheriff. Uh, deputy pet outfits and so that they match um, instead of uh, s sticking out wearing different outfits like they used to um, and also it includes EUP outfits so that if you have the EUP um, and you have your custom character you can match also click download and we'll start with the, f the female dot rar click download Click Save, Open Folder, and uh, right click, Open With. And for a lot of you, it's only going to say Open IV. And if that's the case, you're not going to be able to open this, believe it or not. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, unless you have something like what I have, 8 Zip Light or WinRAR, you're not going to be able to open this. So if you don't have uh, 8 Zip Light or WinRAR or something like that, click on Search the Store. And all these things will pop up and they're for opening these RAR files, which are basically locked. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of them are free. I recommend the 8 Zip Light. You can uh, click it click on it, download it, get it running, kind of run it like a program, do whatever you got to do to get it going. When you're able to open it up, this is how it looks. So you just want it, we're going to just extract the whole thing to the desktop. So right click, click on extract, desktop, select folder, and now I just extracted the whole thing to the desk, uh, desktop. Next we're going to do the EUP outfits. Sheriff Deputy EUP.RAR. Click download. Save. Open folder. Click on it, open it up. Right click, extract, desktop, select folder. Now you can X out of here, X out of here, we're done on here, and uh, here they are. We extract them to the desktop where now they're going to be easy for us to work with. Here they are. This one is sh labeled Sheriff Deputy Female, and the other one was Sheriff Deputy EUP. You have to have open IV uh, to install these. If you don't have open IV, go ahead and uh, download it. It's free. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Kind of let it do its thing. Uh, just run it like a program or an app or whatever and uh, install anything that you need to install so that's associated with it to get it up and running properly though, but you have to have open IV. It's all, it's all free, so we're going to open open IV. Click on File, Edit Mode, Yes. Okay, so we're going to start with the uh, Sheriff Deputy. Here's the instructions. It's the female. And they tell you right here that it goes into the uh, Patch Day 6NG. And then here's the, uh, the install. I'll just show you what, what they mean. So go mods, update, x64, DLC, come down to 6NG, 6NG, DLC, x64, models, CD images, and then click on patch day 6NG.RPF at the top here. Come all the way down to the bottom, right click, click on add, click on desktop. Ah, here it is. Um, 
click on it, open it up. Click on uh, Ped Model, open it up. Now we're going to do them all at once. This is a quick way of doing it. Just go like that. And what I did was I, I, I left clicked, not actually on it, but just next to it over a little bit. And then I, I worked my way down and you can select them all like that in one shot. S just click open. And that's it. You in, you just installed the uh, female um, uh, the female deputy peds. You don't actually have to go through and delete all the old ones. By adding the the new ones in, it replaces the. Old <clears throat> this is a little more complicated. We're going to do the EUP stuff next. Click on it. You can see he's got the README. Here's the README, and it tells you what to do. But I'll show you. You just want to write this this location down right here. Step one: mods update update dot rpf x64 EUP. I'll show you what they're talking about, where it is, and then you also want to write down uh, these two: EUP underscore component peds dot rpf, and the same thing. But this one is uh, at the end. It says underscore p dot rpf. Write those both down. And then in subcategories, um, under this one at the top, write all these categories down. Free mode male apartment one, male free mode hip, Xmas two, January 2016, stunt 01. You have to write those down. Same thing with this, you have to write this down. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the wardrobe stuff. So you need to get into your GTA 5 main root directory. The easiest way to do that is to create a shortcut for your actual game, GTA 5, uh, on your desktop. Then right click on that shortcut. Click on open file location. And that will always bring you into the correct location, right into the GTA 5 main root directory. Once you're in that location, scroll up to plugins. Click on EUP. And then just delete the old one out. Copy this one from the download. Click up and then paste it into the folder so that when you click on it op and open it you'll see it in there some people like to drag and drop however you want to do it as long as it's in there so that's complete the rest of the stuff has to be done using OpenIV so in OpenIV we're going to go to mods update update.rpf x64 EUP and we'll do these first click on uh, the com this one <clears throat> come down and we will do the um, apartment 01 it's all the way down here <clears throat> under mail click on it open it up come down and we're going to do the same style of, of uh, speed modding. We're going to right click, click add, click desktop, go down to the file and it's under Sheriff EUP, here it is, click on it, open it up, click on the corresponding one which means the matching one, that's this one, click on this corresponding one which means the matching one which is, remember we're in a male apartment 01, we'll click on it, open it up, and we're going to do the same style of speed modding. We're going to do both at the same time. So we're going to um, <clears throat> go over t next to it a little bit. And we're going to highlight them both. Click open. And that's it. That's done. Click back. And then we're going to come down and do the next one. Mail. It's, it's in the same section. Mail free mode. And it's the hipster. Click on it. Open it up come down, right click, click add, click up, same thing, click hipster, choose both, click open, that's it, it's done, click back, 
We're going to do the next one. We're going to come down. We're going to go mail Xmas2. And that's down here. Open it up. Click add. Up. Open up Xmas2. <clears throat> Choose both. And if you have trouble choosing both, you can do one at a time. Click open. And that's done. Um, come down, we'll do the next one, which is, uh, it switches from mail to MP now. So it's MP, M, January 2016. Click on it, open it up. Come down, right click, click add, click up, choose the corresponding one. This is a lot of them, so it's cool to do them all at once. Just click open, it does them, installs them all at once. Come down, we'll do the final one. MP M Stunt 01. Open it up. Come down. Right click. Click add. Open this one up. S click uh, highlight them both. Click open. <clears throat> and that's it. Those are all done. Click back. Click back again. And now we have to do this one. Remember, there was something in this one. So open this one up. And remember, we wrote it down. It was the uh, MPM free mode. So look for MPM free mode. These are MPF free mode. Here's MPM free mode uh, 01P. That's this guy right here. Open it up. Come down. Right click. Click add. Click up up again, corresponding folder, open it up, click on it, click open, and that's it. Uh, everything is done. Now we're going to go in game and I'll show you how to do it. You can just X out of OpenIV, it saves it automatically. Okay, so when you uh, come in game, um, if you have the EUP uh, menu in the EUP pack, you can bring that up. And by the way, anyone that doesn't, I do have a tutorial showing how to install the EUP menu and the EUP pack. Uh, go ahead and choose your character. And then what you do is you come to wardrobe. Click on wardrobe. And there they are, they're in there. There's the sheriff one that you installed. There's the Sheriff 2 that you installed, and there's the Sheriff uh, 3 that you installed. You just click on it, and I believe you can also customize it. For example, I just backed out of that menu. Now I'm going to click on Accessories, and see I can kind of like switch the hat or take the hat off. And There's a couple of other little things you can do. You can, like I took off my glasses, and uh, I can add some ranks or something. So there's... there's and there's... Depending on the, the outfit and, and stuff, there might be uh, different types of options. Um, so, and then let me see if I can spawn in one of the share, new sheriffs that we installed. If, if I can remember the, the correct code for it. And so that's what we ju you guys just installed. It's, that's the way the sheriff um, pad will look. And there's a few different variations of like the face and the hair and stuff. But at least they have the matching outfits. And now your custom character has a matching outfit. I really hope uh, that I helped you out. If I did, uh, please click like. If you subscribe, I'll give you a shout out in an upcoming patrol video. Thanks for watching.